Hey, welcome to my channel and to another low carb menu plan and grocery haul. Like I say probably every single time is I'm not doing keto. I'm just doing low carb. I try to stay between 30 and 50. Lower than 30. I think keto might be 20. So, so keto is very strict. I'm not strict on my carbs, except I'm strict on the simple carbs. No sugar, no white flour, no white bread. The things that I have um, that are simple, once a week we have potatoes. And I've been buying David those little, you know, dishes of mashed potatoes from the store. I take a spoonful out and that's what I eat. Um, we have brown rice. I take a spoonful out and that's what I eat. I try to still incorporate things that are healthy carbs that are complex carbs that are not the same effect on your blood sugar you don't have the spikes with it well unless i sat down and maybe ate a lot of potatoes that might do it i don't know um but i i try to i try to incorporate good carbs so i'm staying low for most of the day but a few times a week i'll throw in you know something um like brown rice or the fiber gourmet pasta. Now that I've found it, we can have pasta because you know I miss my skeddy. <laughs> I really did. I it didn't it didn't kill me to put it on spaghetti squash. It wasn't the same, but it didn't kill me. I survived to tell the tale. So if you're on a mission, you're trying to accomplish something like lose weight, lower your cholesterol, your blood pressure, what whatever it is that you're trying to do. Just know that you will survive not having the exact food you want. You might not think you will because sometimes I think, if I don't get me a white bread sandwich, I'm going to pass out. <laughs> but I hadn't yet, it, it, you know. And the more you do without, the less you want. So you'll get a craving every now and then, but. For the most part, they go away. It's, it surprised me because the way I was raised, I was raised on the good southern food. And that's how I cooked up until I started trying to lose weight. The good old sugar and white flour, butter I can have on low carbs. So that's no big deal. And all the things that you can make with flour, all the, the good southern foods. I used to say, and... RJ will pick on me. He says, give you a bag of taters and a sack of flour and you'll feed us for a week. You know, I'm like, I could. Those two things, as long as I got those two things as the main ingredients, I can feed you for a week. There's all kind of things that I can make out of those two ingredients. And those are two things that I'm not eating on low carb. And so it was a major adjustment. But if you're thinking about it, if you're on the fence, don't think of it. If you want to do keto, do keto. Just know that it is stricter. You really don't have any of the carbs that I'm adding in occasionally. But on low carb, depending on how many carbs you want to have a day, you can have brown rice uh, uh, once a week or the, the high fiber pasta once a week. Or a potato once a week. It's just you're not eating it every day. And you're not eating tons of it. So anyway. I, I don't know how we were getting off on that. I just wanted to let you know that. I know some people may look at my low carb menu. And think you're not low carb. No I'm not keto. Low carb just means carbs. But lower. <laughs> and better. Better for you. Cutting out the bad carbs. The carbs that spike your blood sugar. And keep you to gaining that weight so any anyway let's jump onto this menu so tonight i am just doing because i have some meatballs in the freezer and i have a jar of spaghetti sauce and i have some mozzarella cheese so i'm just gonna throw that together no pasta no sub rolls nothing like that just just as the main dish and then some green beans and squash on the side thursday we're going to have some of the fiber gourmet pasta, linguine, because they don't have spaghetti noodles, but they have linguine. So instead of Alfredo, fettuccine Alfredo, I'm doing linguine, Alfredo with mushrooms. It is a new recipe I found. Normally, and, and it's a scratch recipe, low carb. Normally, I just do a jar of Alfredo sauce, and I do fettuccine, and I do broccoli and chicken. That's my typical Alfredo dish. This week it's with mushrooms and I am going to do a chicken on the side. 
may or may not I, I need to pencil in broccoli may or may not do broccoli it depends on how i feel when i go do my grocery shopping i'm gonna add it to my list and when i'm standing there looking at it i'm gonna think do you want broccoli this week or do you not want broccoli this week and then friday i'm gonna do a pork tenderloin because i have a tenderloin i still have like three in the freezer back a uh, month or so ago when i got that really good deal they were like three bucks um so I threw them in the freezer. And then the prosciutto wrapped asparagus. We got that prosciutto at Trader Joe's the other day. And it is delicious wrapped around asparagus. Just get you a, a bundle of asparagus. You know, trim it, clean it, all that. Wrap up one piece of prosciutto all the way around it. Pop it in the oven. I do 425 because that's what I roast my um, asparagus on. I do 425. I don't know how long, just until it's done. The prosciutto will start getting um, crispy. It won't get hard on you, well, unless you bake it to death. <laughs> and the asparagus will get tender. And I'm going to tell you what, best asparagus you'll ever eat. If you don't like asparagus, that might be the recipe to change your mind. And then Saturday, I'm going to do some taco salads. Instead of tacos with all the shells and things like that, we're just going to do salads. And we're going to do it with ground chicken because that's how David likes it the best. I like it too. It's it's actually good. Um I've always had beef tacos my whole life, and I still I still prefer a beef taco. But I don't know how many years ago he decided he wanted to stay away from some beef. I think mainly probably because his gout. So he tried the ground chicken, and they found out he really liked it. So that's how we do it most of the time when we do tacos. And then Sunday, that'll be our eat-out day, and we will try to stay on plan. I say that every week. Some weeks we stay on plan. Some weeks we don't. This past week, we did. We will talk about that tomorrow on weigh in. And then Monday, I just have chicken down here. That means I'm going to open my spice cabinet and I'm going to see whatever strikes my fancy when I start cooking. And that's how I'm going to make that chicken. And okra, I'm going to look and see how much the fresh okra costs today because I normally buy it frozen, put it on a baking sheet. There again, I, I hit it with some, and not the breaded okra, just the plain cut okra. Hit it with a little olive oil spray, which I use avocado oil spray, and pop it in salt and pepper. Pop it in the oven at 425, and just it takes a long time to roast because if if you know anything about okra, it's it's very um it's got slime in it when you bake it or when you boil it especially. I like I like stewed okra personally. A lot of people won't touch it, but that it takes a while for that to bake out of it and get just a little. It doesn't get crispy, but it gets a little bit drier. And then some brown rice. We were talking about healthy carbs. Then Tuesday, I'm going to take a play on the chicken pot pie soup that I have made the past, I don't know, month, probably twice. But I have some cooked chuck roast in the freezer. It's not enough for a meal, but what, you know, I didn't want to throw it away. I knew I could do it in some soup or something. So I just want to change that chicken pot pie soup to a beef pot pie soup. And the only changes I'm going to make is beef instead of chicken and beef broth instead of chicken broth. And I think it's going to turn out good. So that is it for dinners and suppers. That's what we call it. Suppers this week. I used to say breakfast, dinner, and supper. So my lunch was my supper. And then I, I just kind of got on board with lunch, I guess you could say. <laughs> so now I do call it lunch. Um, for my meal prep, breakfast, I found a recipe. I have a cookbook, uh, uh, not low carb, gluten-free, a gluten-free cookbook, which I'm not gluten-free, but gluten-free doesn't use white flour so i thought well there might be some recipes in there that i could either make as is or i could tweak to make them low carb so i found one for a quiche lorraine but i'm doing crustless so i'm gonna do a crustless quiche lorraine for breakfast prep lunch she had a vegetarian chili which i got to have meat in my chili I guess if I had to eat vegetarian chili i would but since i don't have to i'm gonna put some hamburger in it but i'm still gonna make it with the veggies that she puts in it, just no beans. I'm going to leave out the beans. And then snacks. I'm not going to make anything for snacks except for I'm going to make some tortilla chips with my low-carb tortillas because we bought those dips at Trader Joe's and we need to eat those up before I actually make something else 
to eat instead of those. So that is what we are having this week for our my breakfast and lunch and then our supper. <laughs> Listen, um, RJ had a girlfriend that lived here before she moved back home. And me and her and David would always eat together, and that was our supper club. So <laughs> I miss those days. It was fun. We had we had fun times, good chats, lots of laughs. Anyway, so I will ask neither here nor there. The next thing coming up will be a grocery haul. And if Harris Teeter has everything I want, that is all you will see. So let's just turn around and look at the groceries. Alrighty, so let's look at our Harris Teeter haul. We have what we always have, skim milk, and he wanted some orange juice this week. I looked on it, and one cup of the 50% Trop 50 is 13 carbs, in case you are interested. And then my half and half, which we don't worry about, whatever's in it. And this week, I wanted to try some coconut milk. Um... It's unsweet, and the carbs are, I think, exactly the same as the almond milk. It is one carb for one cup, and my unsweetened almond milk is, let's see, what are the carbs? I can't, one carb for one cup, so it's exactly the same. Both are unsweetened, and then we needed some sour cream. I got this big one because they were out of the regular, like, smaller size, and this was um, cheaper to get the big one, so that's why I went ahead and got it. And these, I had to run back in. I forgot my eggs. And on the way to get the eggs, all the way at the back of the store, these were in the cabinet, the case. So I thought I'd give these a try. Grillos, pickles, just fresh dill spears. I think they have a carb for one spear, something like that. One ounce, about one spear, one carb. So, I don't think it has sugar in it. I think that's just the carb of the, yeah, no sugar. That's just the carb of the cucumber. And then, instead of hunk cheese or cube cheese, he wanted these little cracker cuts. So, that's what I got him. There should be zero carbs in these because it's just cheese. And I don't think there's anything added to, to give it a carb. Less than a gram, yeah. And then, this is the turkey bacon he wanted. I don't eat it, but... He said he wanted the Oscar Mayer because we had got it at BJ's or Sam's one, and he really liked it. Let's see if you're interested. We know there's no carbs in regular bacon, and there's no carbs in this bacon. One slice, 35 calories. So that's for David. The cheeses are for my recipes. This is for my Alfredo. I think it should be zero carbs. Okay, it's got one. Must be something added The to keep it from caking is probably what is giving it that carb. But that, that's not going to be nothing when you divide it out in the recipe. This may be the same way. Okay, this says zero carb. So I guess it doesn't have whatever that has. I could grate that myself, but I'm not feeling it. <laughs> and then I need more cheese sticks. So this time I got the extra sharp and the Gouda. And the carbs on it are... Zero and zero. I needed more regular ketchup, and I don't worry about the carbs because I, when I cook in recipes, I use my sugar, no sugar added. This is like if I have French fries or something I want to dip, I just want regular ketchup. And then David eats the regular ketchup. He's been wanting some of my mm. salsa verde that I make, and it's kind of a aggravating process. And we've had this before. When I was on Weight Watchers, it's really good, surprisingly, for something out of a jar. But they just can it in a jar like we would can it in a jar. So that's why some store-bought items, I know people get upset about store-bought items sometimes. But they're just cooking in canning the same if we would cook in can. <laughs> that's how I see it. Anyway, that's what I got this for. I, I don't know about the carbs. He wanted it for his taco salad. Two carbs for two tablespoons. So that's not bad for a little topping. And of course we know our zero carb Duke's mayonnaise. I needed a backup. And our green beans, which I don't count the natural carbs and green vegetables. I just don't. And I needed a can of pumpkin. I don't know what the carbs are. Ten minus three, so that's seven carbs for half a cup. 
not bad when you want a little something with pumpkin in it. And I needed just some regular baby deals, which they look kind of big in there, but they say baby. And then Hess Teeter has the regular and the golden monk fruit, so I needed that. We were out of our Chick-fil-A sauce, and yes, this has carbs, and I'm sure it's a lot. Seven carbs for two tablespoons, but sometimes we just want it, so sometimes we just eat it. <laughs> and then the okra, it shrivels up to nothing, so I just went ahead and got two bags. And pork rinds, those are no carbs. And the vanilla pudding, I don't know what the carbs are on it, to be honest with you. Five in a quarter of oh, five and a quarter of the package but i use that when i make my pumpkin pie pudding and i made one of those last week so i needed to put that back in case i wouldn't make it again and then david needed some cool whip for his strawberries and those little vanilla cupcakes i made him that i put in the freezer and he would want sugar free so let's read three carbs for two tablespoons have you noticed everything two tablespoons is the serving size <laughs> oh and then since I'm going to use up the rest of my other tortillas, I figured I better get another pack. These are two net carbs for one. And it's a good size. It's, it's, a, it's a good size, not too big. Now, the rest pretty much is produce. Squash is for, well, for squash. And the peppers, I got, I paid the same price for them, but I got the smallest ones I could find because I'd rather pay for it and not throw it away as to throw it away because I can about guarantee you if I cut half of it, I'm not going to use the other half in anything. So I just opted for the small ones. That's for my chili. And then asparagus for the prosciutto wrapped asparagus and bananas. And they had this organic girl. Um, I keep getting out of frame. I'm trying to look what I'm doing and hold the camera too. <laughs> they had this on sale. Buy one, get one free. And he likes that 50-50. And of course, I got my favorite green leaf. That's for our taco salads saturday and the mushrooms are for the alfredo these mushrooms i'm just going to make today for lunch they um were three dollars off i know they're um stuffed with cheese but the carbs are not bad for three of them it's three minus a uh, one five or so two for three of them and if you ate six which i'm not going to sit down and eat six of these I may make some for lunch and the, the other ones for supper because since they're marked down, they do need to be eaten. But if you did eat the whole pack, it would be seven carbs. Which, listen, you can make that a meal. And that would be a good good amount of carbs for a whole meal. And then broccoli, I told you I would get it and I felt like it. So <laughs> I got the broccoli. And the carrots are for... I have a few left, but I didn't have enough. I need carrots for the chili and for the beef pot pie soup. And then his bread, he didn't need, but it was buy one, get one free. And you can't pass that up. So those are going in the freezer. And then we were out of AAA batteries. And let me give you a little hint. This is a Starbucks venti unsweetened black iced tea. And if you put one of those little packs i use the true lemon you could use any flavor of any kind you want but it's the little water packs this is the perfect size for one of those flavors it's not too strong it's not too weak it's kind of just right so that was my little treat there's a starbucks inside Harris teeter so i got that on my way out and then flair got groceries too she got some super worms and she got her little dubia roaches i won't show them to you in case you're gonna squeam out but i'm gonna tell you these two things right here cost as much as probably all that produce at least <laughs> maybe even something else included i don't know uh, you'd be surprised how expensive something that little is but that's listen that's my baby baby gotta eat so anyway there you have it there's harris teeter for this week and I hope everybody has a good rest of their week, has a good hump day, this is a happy Wednesday, and I'll see you on my next video.